Chapter 12. Guess what? An excited Simon loudly asked Jonathan over the phone. What? I just got cast in a commercial. Wow, that's great. What's it for? Jonathan tried to feign some excitement. She was actually happy for him, but she was also afraid that each new successful thing that happened to him would pull them further apart. It's a toothpaste commercial. <laughs> he laughed. And with the money they're paying me, I'll be able to get my own apartment now. Oh, cool. Jonathan's voice trailed. Simon knew something wasn't right. What's wrong, Jonathan? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just... I don't know, it's just been a long day. She didn't want to explain all the thoughts in her head. I just have a lot of homework and I have a big test tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll let you go so you can go study. I just had to tell you the good news. Okay, thanks. I guess I'll talk to you later then, a puzzled Simon continued. I love you, Simon said cautiously. I love you too. Jonathan sounded so depressed, Simon thought. I wonder what's wrong. Is there something she's not telling me? Maybe she's jealous. Simon couldn't figure out why she would feel that way. He was excited and wanted to share the great news with her, and she threw cold water on him, so to speak, just like she did when she came backstage after opening night. He loved her, but he couldn't help but feel annoyed and frustrated at the same time. Simon hung up the phone. He was standing outside a restaurant where he had planned to join Dave and Nina for lunch before heading to work. He didn't want to completely lose the excitement he felt before he called Jonathan, and he hoped that Dave and Nina would reignite that feeling. He walked up to their table where they were already looking through the menus. Hey guys, guess what? Simon slid into the booth next to Dave. I just got cast in a toothpaste commercial. Awesome, congratulations dude, Dave said as he shook his hand. Nina smiled broadly. Wow, congratulations, Simon. That's really terrific. You have such a nice smile. No wonder they cast you. Yeah, man, your smile is terrific. I'm swooning right now. Swooning! As Dave teased him, they all laughed. Thanks, guys. Simon felt good knowing that his friends were happy for him and he was able to momentarily forget about Jonathan's bad mood. The conversation quickly turned to the pay he would receive for the commercial and they spoke about the new apartments that he could move to. Nina said, There are apartments for rent in my building. You should take a look. Why don't you come by tomorrow and I'll go with you to talk to a leasing agent. Okay, great, thanks, Simon replied. Though it had only been about half of a year, Simon had felt that he had been living in the messy and crowded apartment forever. Back at home, Jonathan sat on her bed and tried to study, but she couldn't concentrate, so she called a friend and cried. I don't know, I just, I don't know what to think anymore. I mean, I saw all those girls looking at him while I was out there, and I saw them scream for him, and there's this really pretty older lady that obviously likes him. I don't know, she's old. She's gotta be 30 or something. I saw her jump on him and kiss him on the cheek. Jonathan tried to catch her breath in between her tears. No, he didn't kiss her back, but he didn't push her off him either. No, I know. I know he loves me, but... Yes, he calls me every day, but... Yeah, I don't know though. He's out there living his dream, and I'm here in this stupid small town doing my stupid homework and trying to study for this stupid test, and I think he's going to leave me. She cried even harder. I mean, why would he want to be with me when he's got all those other girls over him? And I can't even be there. He's so far away. I'm going to lose him. Jonathan cried and cried. Later that night after the show, Dave and Simon went back to Dave's place. They strummed guitars together, trying to find some of the chords to songs that they both knew. Hey, what song is that? 
Dave said when he heard a particularly catchy progression that Simon played, I don't know, we should turn it into a song. You want to write a song? Simon was surprised, but he liked the idea. All right, he said as he showed Dave the chords he was playing. They strummed the chords repetitively, then Simon began to sing words that just popped into his head. Nice, Dave exclaimed on the last strum. We should form a band. This is fun, Simon thought. <laughs> 